From Los Angeles, California, this is Burncast and I'm the bomb. My name is Tank. Um, oh, you're Ryan. You're the one with that crazy um, Ryan Tyox. Ryan Trioxin. Trioxin. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Wow. Okay, now to put the face to the name. Okay, so we're here at your work, and you work in a special effects house. Do you bring any of your talent here to the from here and and uh, take it to the playa? Any uh, of your skills? I, I try to. Um, it's always uh, it's always a challenge trying to figure out, you know, how much special effects I can bring out there and what is practical out yeah. there because of the heat yeah. and the dryness. But yeah, I definitely try and kind of take from this creative pool to bring out there costume-wise. Like, I mean, I don't go overboard, but I definitely try and, you know, feed from this yeah. out there. So. What was your first year at Burning Man? Let's see, 01, I think. I don't even remember the theme. Yeah, bad. they're all blur. It was uh, yeah. the man was on a giant pyramid. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, it was really interesting. I was I think I was like, 19 years old at the time. Uh huh. And uh, changed my life. Oh, in what way? I'd love to hear his story. Um, completely changed, and it does every year for the most part. Completely yeah. changed my view of the human body and kind of acceptance of people and just when you come back to the, the default world yeah it's like you're kind of force-fed this idea of what your body image should be and how you should look and how you should act and what you should wear and what is and isn't acceptable and, and what is man, beautiful yeah yeah and what yeah what is beautiful in this society and burning man really just tipped that over for me and allowed me to kind of appreciate people as people and not people as fashion icons or um, celebrities so just kind of be able to appreciate also Burning Man has really allowed me to appreciate what I call human potential because every time I go out there I'm reminded that if we could all just get our shit in order we can create really awesome things and you know really just capitalize on creativity and imagination and love and you know like it's really I think it's an important message uh, especially now so yeah no I totally agree what do you think of the theme this year oh I think it's gonna be awesome yeah uh, I'm really excited because at first I was kind of like eh you know politics and all this but I think it's a really deep theme and I think it's really multifaceted and it's gonna make for some really awesome art. I'm really, really excited about the art this year because, you know, the American dream can mean so many things to so many different people, and there's a lot of foreign artists yeah. who come to Playa, and it'll be really interesting to see what their take on our American dream is. So oh, cool. I'm really stoked about that, and I think there's gonna be a lot of satire this year. Yeah, And I'm of really course. excited for that. Um, of course. But, so yeah, I'm really excited about it. And uh, how has Burning Man changed through the years? Um, I've only been going, this will be my fourth year, so I can't really talk about, you know, it's the grand scale of how much it's changed. But for me, I've noticed that, obviously, as it gets bigger, you have more yahoos. Hold for sound. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I... I would like to say that it's, I think it's changed for the, the better, but a lot of the things that I notice right off the bat are the amount of police presence out there. Yeah. Um, and like when I first went to Burning Man, this is kind of cheesy, but I remember seeing a lot of naked girls everywhere. <laughs> this great. is you about the human great. body, right? Uh, and uh, <laughs> in the last couple of years, I haven't been seeing that a lot. And I've heard that the reason for that is because a lot of people are taking pictures yeah. of these gorgeous naked women um which is really disrespectful and you know kind of ruins it like you don't go out there to like perv on chicks it's just not the point so yeah i mean and I, i've seen a lot of that go away but and i don't know it's it's gonna get bigger and crazier and things are gonna change and i don't know like i can't can't say where i think it's going you know it's different every year but I've definitely noticed that the blm rangers start looking more and more like stormtroopers every year. 
like, I got a speeding ticket at Burning Man last year. At Burning Man? Yeah. What happened? Uh, I was deep on fly, the deep fly, like way out in the middle of nowhere, driving on this moped, and I'm just like flying across the playa, and I hear the little raptor call of a police car, and I'm like, what the hell? Pull over, there's a police SUV, or the BLM Rangers SUV, and I'm like, oh, hello, officer, and he says, you got a permit for that thing? <gasps> and I go, oh. um... No, you know, I'm like, this is Burning Man. Yeah, yeah. What the hell do I need a permit for? And he's like, well, you can't drive that thing out here. La, 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 I'll give you a $250 ticket. Wow. And I was just kind of like, uh, okay. Like, silly me for thinking that I could do something fun at Burning Man. <laughs> and, uh, and he was like, if I see you out here again, I'm giving you a ticket. And I was just kind of like, okay. Have a good day, officer. And then he drove off, and that was just... Which sucks, because I was on a moped, like, deep playa, so I had to pedal, like, an hour and a half all the way back to camp, just because... Were you past the trash house? No. Oh, you're... Wow! <laughs> yeah, like, and it was weird. It was really, really weird to kind of get sweated by the cops at Burning Man for riding a moped yeah. in the middle of the abandoned desert. Yeah. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah, so. who knew? <laughs> So what was um, what was your experience like aside from the time and ex and uh, energy to get back to, to your camp? I mean, I'm sure it was an adventure. I'm sure uh, you ran into people. Oh uh, yeah, it was, I mean, it's always like that. There's that's just one story, and that's kind of a I like bring that one up because it's it's ridiculous. Even in, in in Burning Man, it's ridiculous. Like yeah. the idea of getting pulled over for a speeding ticket in <laughs> you know the most freeing place that I know of. Are you um, sure it was a real cop? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Like, yeah, uh, he had bad teeth and everything. It's great, um, but uh, <laughs> I mean, and I, I met a lot of really cool people. And Burning Man is—I live in Los Angeles, but I'm from Colorado, so it's a good opportunity for me to meet up with all my my burner friends from Colorado and spend yeah. time with them once a year. So that's really important for me out there. But every year I meet new cool people and do new fun things and just. It's a blast. I'll keep going as long as it as long as it exists. I'll keep going as, if I can. But and gas prices aren't this year are not going to hold you back. Well, let's just say that I will be roughing it this year. Uh -huh. And uh, strangely enough, the further into Burning Man I get, the more it becomes about spending time with quality people and um, you know just going out there. This year I'm going out there very very bare bones. Um, not a whole lot of costumes, just because of things like gas, and, yeah. you know, like the recession. Um, Rider strike. Economic, yeah. Economic stimulus check. Yeah. Totally helping me out. Uh, hey, did the strike affect your industry at all? Oh, yes. Two yeah. months of no work. Yeah. Um, and that was really, really rough. And I know a bunch of people in the industry who won't be going to Burning Man because the money they set aside for Burning Man got spent during the strike trying to yeah i know because yep. so i mean it was 112 days yeah rough yeah. um hollywood uh all right so we got about two more minutes let's make this really quick uh, i've got two questions okay. you know what they are uh and you haven't said the word community for I a list <laughs> two <laughs> questions not. uh advice to the virgin burner um be prepared sunblock and um, you have no idea you have no idea what to expect um, it's like nothing you've ever seen and it's awesome and last question and okay oh we, okay last question make it quick uh, I'm running out of time um, advice to the jaded veteran burner be cool to the new burner um, and just don't be too high up there on your pedestal. Um, <laughs> so you acknowledge there is a phenomenon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like I've been doing this since '89. No, I don't care. I'm still, I'm still here with you to have a good time and experience this. So don't look down on me or anyone just because they're new. I mean, don't let them get away with shenanigans. Yeah. But uh, don't look down on them. They're the same as you. They're just new. Right on, community. Thank you so much. Yeah.